Hi guys and welcome back to your favourite low budget YouTube channel. In today's episode of why would anyone want to do this we are going to upgrade from Windows 98 to Windows 11 on the Sophos firewall. Now like most good ideas I have I decided that I was going to do this after I would formatted the hard drive so off camera I reinstalled Windows 98 back onto the firewall. So let's start with upgrading Windows 98 to ME. Like in the last video the mouse didn't work so I had to use the keyboard to navigate through Windows. The initial upgrade of Windows ME seemed to start with no issues but post the first restart we got stuck and the firewall wouldn't boot. I gave it a couple of attempts but no joy. I attempted to upgrade to Windows XP and run a fresh install of XP but it just wouldn't install. I removed this clip from the video as it was 4 hours of wasted time. I think the issue was is I was trying to upgrade slash install from a USB ISO. The annoying thing was is I threw away a USB CD drive the other week and I told myself it's 2023 we don't need them anymore. Well, I guess I was wrong on that one. I had to start afresh with Windows 7 installer and to my surprise it installed and it only took about an hour. The most exciting thing with Windows 7 is the mouse finally started working. It's the small things in life that count. Now let's get the firewall online. As you can see Windows 7 doesn't have the drivers for the 4 NICs. I also had a USB to Ethernet adapter connected but that wasn't working. So on my laptop I downloaded them and copied them over via USB. Only having two USB ports on the firewall made this a bit of a pain. I had to unplug the USB to Ethernet adapter, connect in the memory stick, install the drivers, then reconnect the USB to Ethernet adapter. I copied over the files to the desktop just in case, but it seemed to just work once the USB to Ethernet adapter was connected. Now we can download the Windows 10 upgrade tool and upgrade to Windows 10. As you can see this version of IE that came with this copy of Windows 7 is out of date and it cannot download the installer. So I downloaded Firefox but even that didn't want to install. Chrome on the other hand didn't have this issue. Now that Chrome is installed we can download the Windows 10 upgrade tool but Windows 7 is not seeing that as a valid Win32 application. Let's try the Windows 10 media creation tool. And you guessed it, that failed too. As a Hail Mary I tried to see if I could run Windows updates but that didn't want to work either. I then remembered that the firewall only has 2 gigs of RAM and didn't meet the Windows 10 minimum requirements so I slapped in an extra 2 gigs of RAM, not before trying the installers one last time. Now that the firewall has 4 gigs of RAM, let's try this again. And still no joy. I don't know why I kept trying Windows Update, I guess there was a little hope inside of me that it would just spring into life. I decided to give upgrading to Windows 10 by booting the ISO and running the upgrade that way. On the first attempt, the ISO wouldn't boot under normal mode, so I rebooted it and tried Winboot. The delay on pressing a key and the screen updating took so long. I've never seen this before when using Ventoy on a normal PC or server, but I guess it's not every day you try and install Windows 10 on a firewall. Now the installer is starting to boot under Winboot. And surprise surprise that didn't work so let's boot back into Windows 7 and try something else. I have copied over the Windows 10 ISO and installed virtual clone drive so that I can mount the ISO image. And to my surprise the installer finally started to work. I didn't have a Windows 10 Pro product key at hand so I quick checked to Google and I was able to locate a key that I could use to upgrade. 
I thought I would just show that the firewall now has 4 gigs of RAM. So the upgrade is starting, so let's leave it to do its thing. The upgrade from Windows 7 to 10 took just under an hour. Okay, so now we have successfully upgraded to Windows 10. We're on the home straight and just need to upgrade to Windows 11 and we can call it a day. As you can see, the firewall is having a hard time running Windows 10. It's only a dual core processor running at 1.46 GHz, so you can understand why. Now I battled with this for hours trying to get past the TPM requirements to install Windows 11. I tried adding registry keys, but it didn't have any of it. In the end, I had to copy over the setup files for Windows 11 and copy over a deal file from the sources folder from the Windows 10 ISO to the sources folder of Windows 11 setup folder and disconnect the device from the internet. Right, let's start the upgrade process and see what happens. At this point, I was ready to throw the project in the bin, but to my surprise, the upgrade started and oh boy, did it take some time to upgrade. The upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 took nearly three hours. And finally, we're into Windows 11. As you can see, it's running even slower than Windows 10 did, but we got there and made it to Windows 11, if you ignore the fact that we skipped past Windows XP. I guess you can't really call it a Windows 98 to Windows 11 upgrade, but hey, we're here now. And that's it, thanks for watching.